What's up guys? It's been over three months since I posted a video on here, so we're gonna do that today. <laughs> I already did order packing for today. I sold a pair of shoes on eBay for $80. I've had them since April. They've been listed at a high price for a long time. I'm glad they sold. I paid about like $40 for them, so it was a good sale. And then the rest of the stuff I need to do today, I have an FBA shipment I wanted to get sent out and as many eBay listings as possible. I have enough inventory to do like 150 plus eBay listings, but I'm obviously not gonna do that all today. That would suck, I would hate that. Um, maybe I'll do 10 today. <laughs> I have filmed some videos since September, but none of them really turned out well. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So it's 8.48 right now. I want to list 20 items on eBay today. So far, I've listed zero. I pretty much stopped thrifting this year. I won like five or six times in total. Um, but I did go on Memorial Day since it was half off day. Picked this up for $275 after the discount is $550. Half off, so $275. And I've had it for seven months now. Let's get this bubble wrapped. I think it's going for $35 on Amazon right now used and this is missing the case but i'm probably just gonna match the lowest used price okay so let's talk about what i've been doing the past three months so um the last time i uploaded a video i talked about august revenue so last three months September revenue was about the same as August, except I only sent out like two not very big shipments. Um, I think one of them might have been might have been like a hundred items, but the other one was pretty small. And then same thing October, I didn't send a lot of shipments. I sent out like two, but revenue dipped a lot. Um, not like September. September basically the same as August as far as revenue, but October dipped like four thousand from there. October, my revenue was like 8,000, and I mean, that's kind of, I mean, that's not bad. I don't think that's bad for only sending out two shipments, but it's really because I already had so much older inventory that was still selling through, so I'm happy with that. And then last month was awesome because it's like full swing Q4, so um, really good. Target did the buy two, get one free toy sale, and I got a lot of toys online from them. And I sent those in, most of them sold before Black Friday, but I still had a bunch of stuff on Black Friday in fact, in, did I just say in flack? In fact, Black Friday was my best sales day ever on Amazon because of one thing. So on Black Friday, I went sourcing. What I would do is my dad and I would go to the store, we'd like buy some video games, and then I would list them in the car. So like by the end of the day, pretty much everything I bought already sold. Um, I mostly bought video games. I didn't list any of the toys I bought since they were bigger and it would cost a lot to ship those individually to customers. It'd be better to FBA them. But the video games, I mean, they all ship for like under $3 or $3.09, I think, first class. So I listed all the video games, sold them Merchant Fulfilled, and almost got to 3000 in revenue on Black Friday. Black Friday alone, one day, almost 3,000 in revenue, and that is crazy. I remember months where I didn't even do 3,000 in sales. Not this year, but a couple years ago, so that was cool. And then um, November was definitely a strong month, with Thanksgiving and Black Friday being a week later. The fact that I was only 1,500 off from November last year, as far as revenue goes, was pretty good. This month has also been pretty good. I'm at almost 15,000 this month. I don't think it's possible to get to where I was this month. Last year, I put in a lot more work, undoubtedly, last year during Q4. Last year, December, I did almost 30000 in revenue. Right now, like I said, I'm almost at 15000 and it's the 23rd, so there's like eight days left in the month. I don't think I can do more than 15000 in sales in eight days. So I'm not really worried about that because 
I didn't do the work that would get me those results. I wasn't really expecting that. I only sent out, I mean, I sent out a few shipments this month, but it wasn't a lot of stuff, maybe like 20, 30 items in each shipment and a couple of shipments. So I didn't do a lot of work this month and I knew that and it's okay. I'm okay with that, even though it's going to be like on the last day of December, I'm going to see down 50% compared to last year, but that's fine. Um, this semester, um, so like from the end of August to like last Thursday, like four days ago, school took a lot more time than I anticipated. If you don't know, I might have talked about this on Instagram, freshman year was a breeze. Maintaining a 4.0 and running this business at the same time was pretty much really, really easy. Almost all the time is really, really easy. This semester, not so much. I am taking harder classes, so I should have expected it, but I did not see this coming. Um, school took a lot more time than I expected. That's why like, I haven't posted a video on here in so long. It's not like I haven't filmed the videos. Wait, I already said that earlier. I played the clips earlier. Um, I've filmed a bunch of videos. I wanted to do a bunch of business stuff. Didn't really get to it. Um, kind of use school as an excuse sometimes, but I'm fine with the decisions I made, I think. But I didn't, even though, like, I didn't spend as much time on the business or on, like, social media stuff, still didn't maintain that 4.0. Um, I'm the only person who's disappointed in that. My parents don't really care that much. But ugh, it was stupid because I just had to do a little more work. And I would have had a 4.0, but it's fine. I'm chilling with that. I guess I could talk about my plans for next year. So this might come as a surprise to a pretty much everyone, but I'm trying, I'm gonna try to ease out of this business for a while. I want to take a break for some time, not just because of school, but, um, school is definitely one of the factors, but I just, I feel like I'm not super interested in running this business right now. Like, I just want to get rid of everything and take a break for, like, a while. I haven't taken a break since... June slash July 2018 when I went to India for like a month with my family but since then it's been like grind 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 getting stuff done it was after that trip to India that I had my most productive streak ever in this business that was when I set that 100k goal and went for that all out that's how um November last year 17,000 December last year almost 30,000 those were incredible months and it definitely took a lot of work out of me that I haven't been doing this year, I mean this month, or mostly for this year, I haven't been pushing as hard as that. I did have, like, a goal in mind of, like, 300,000. Um, I'm not really sure what I based it off, though. <laughs> it's kind of just a number I threw out there, and I was like, I could, I could probably do this, and I don't know. I mean, maybe I could have. I'm at, like, 142,000 for the year right now. Double that I would have had to start, I would have had to been pushing really hard from the beginning of the year to do that probably, and at least right now, I'm not very interested in doing something like that, so going into next year, I can try to sell as much of this stuff as possible. Um, it's mostly eBay stuff now, so that's the hard part because photographing, listing on eBay, definitely a lot more time consuming than doing FBA, I think, so there's that, um, and... I want to spend a lot more time putting out content on here and on Instagram for you guys. It's something that I didn't get to do a lot of this year. I feel like I kind of like failed on that starting pretty much when school started. Um, because before I was doing like a bunch of Instagram posts, like I had all these cool tips and stuff like that. And then I started doing YouTube videos and then summer vacation ended and then just everything fell off track. Um, I do want to get, because uh, that's something I'm still, like, really passionate about, um, putting out videos for you guys, putting out stuff on Instagram. I really want to do that. I just haven't had, like, ideas on, like, what to put out and time to, like, produce something quality, like, a nice video, because the videos I've been filming were pretty bad, and then, um, I feel like a lot of the posts I was thinking about for Instagram were just, like, useless, like, nothing, no value to provide from what I was thinking about then, but... Going into next year, that's going to be a bigger focus for me. And I'm not trying to say that I'm trying to get out of reselling forever. I just want to take a break, like reset, get that productivity flowing again, because taking a break, I think, is 
one of the most valuable things you can do for your business because at least in my experience, the one break I've taken in these three years of reselling that triggered like my most productive time ever in running this business because it was taking that break, like looking like taking a moment away from the business just to like see everything, um, be away from like the daily grind, that daily routine, all that was definitely like beneficial and without that I probably wouldn't have gotten to 100k last year so I want to do something like that again I'm not trying to I'm probably going to be a bit longer I'm thinking maybe like four months I might just get back into Amazon and eBay in four months and honestly I'm not even trying to get back into eBay anymore the only reason I was doing eBay was like mostly thrift store stuff I don't really thrift anymore the stuff I've been posting on eBay is like random stuff I find at grocery stores and then all the old thrift inventory that I still have, there are so many thrift finds in the closet behind there, and then there's so much stuff out in the hallway out there, there's so much stuff in the garage, there's so much stuff under this desk that I'm filming on right now, there's definitely a lot of stuff to do. Like I said earlier, probably 150 plus items, definitely, honestly, probably more than that, maybe even, like, 200 more, because, like, I've got so much, like, random stuff like this, like, here, this is one listing right here. Here's another one. I, I hope I didn't crack that. There is... A lot of stuff to do so I'm just gonna focus on that I tried to do something like this last year at the beginning of the year I was like okay I'm not gonna buy anything new I'm just gonna focus on the old stuff didn't last it did not work um, but I'm more finalized on that mindset right now I think and looking back at last year's goals I did not really um, follow them so I think one of the things I said I would do is start a Shopify store and have it like fully up and running by March this year. Um, I lost interest in that idea pretty quickly and I focused on Amazon doing all that. I had more fun doing Amazon. Selling groceries, definitely like it's super easy and I think I had a better time doing that than just trying to start a Shopify store. Now, I mean, I'm not as interested in the idea, maybe sometime down the road and I do remember significantly at the bottom of my goals post last year, I said, focus on time management. And I think I kind of nailed that, kind of didn't. So one of the things I was thinking of when I wrote that was that like, I was always like late to things like my dad and I would go sourcing and then we'd show up late, like for whatever lunch, dinner. And then like my mom would be kind of angry and I didn't want to do that anymore. So that's like, that's the main thing I was thinking of when I wrote that. Um, I think I nailed that portion. My mom doesn't get angry anymore because I'm always like, I'm almost always on time, but there's still other stuff like school, especially school. So going into next year, trying to procrastinate less or getting things done ahead of time is gonna be something I focus on. And that's probably gonna be the like main focus, getting things done ahead of time, planning, um, not as much goal setting, but just having a plan, like knowing what needs to get done for the day. Like I have a, I used to use a whiteboard to like track my day, like have everything planned out like a list, like a to-do list. And that was pretty effective. And then I just kind of got out of routine with that. Like I stopped doing it. Um, my board hasn't been updated for like five months. Yeah. Five months. Cause the last, I remember the date on it at like the top is like July 16th or something. So I think it was I think it was in one of these videos at the beginning you saw me writing on a whiteboard. That was probably the last time I used my whiteboard, except from like last week I used it. Didn't really help. Um I'm out of routine with that. So gonna try to establish some new habits next year and then focus on not procrastinating. So that's what I'm thinking about going into next year. I haven't really thought about this a lot significantly, but just some things that have been going on in my head. That wraps it up for this video. Even though I haven't been posting much on here, my channel has been growing, so I'm really happy with that. We're almost at 300 subs, and one video in particular is doing really well. It just passed 5,300 views, I think, so I'm also really happy about that. Everyone who subscribes on here, everyone who follows on Instagram, everyone who likes my posts, likes the videos, comments, all that good stuff. I really appreciate you guys, even if I don't say it that often. I care, I appreciate it, thank you. And hopefully I'll be posting another video, doing more stuff on Instagram in the next couple of weeks since I'm off school and I don't have to do any homework over break because no one assigned anything. So I'm also 
very excited about that. And I just finished setting up my new computer yesterday, so editing this should be easier and more fun compared to doing it on my old laptop. But that's all I have to say right now, so I'll see you guys hopefully soon. Bye.